I was talking to Casey about that moment in the movie where Whitney tells Clive that she's exhausted. All black women are exhausted, yeah. which is my favorite line in the movie. And I'm wondering for you, how was it? How did you approach balancing the the very personal story of this black woman who we all think we know, but with that universal element that we all kind of have to be all things to all people. And that is the pressure that she found herself under constantly. Mm, I think, you know, that that line and, and that sentiment um, is something that I understand from, from what I can see. I think you understand that too. It mm -hmm. felt like the easiest thing to access, actually. It's, it's the part of Whitney that I know I have grappled with, with my own life about who, um, W how I belong to different communities of people um, and what my responsibilities are and um, the, 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 the process of breaking away from that and, and realising what is mine and what is other people's is a very hard one. I could do something with the chorus, go up a key there, get more out of it. Yeah, but that's not a reason to, to do a song. It's got to have a hook. A hook? Yeah. <laughs> I'll give it a hook. And I think that is the journey that Whitney was going through. Um, and it takes a very long time. I think that at least nowadays, it's easier to have the language for that. You know, it's easier to have these communities and conversations about that. But, you know, even 10 years ago, it was very hard to, to put into words. And so that, that struggle for Whitney was universal. And I think it, it made sense to me. Um, it definitely was something easy, uh, more easily um, understandable than the idea of stardom or or fame and the largeness. Um, mm -hmm. That's something I really enjoyed about doing this was kind of bringing her back to humanity. 